lay of the land here. If you personally are doing Silver Club, we stand up for me. Stand up for me.
is true. If you set the example, your downline follows. I'm like number seven under her. I'm way down the line. But it doesn't matter to her, does it? No. I'm yes. sitting next to her. <laughs> All right. And, and we're gonna... then look on this side of me. Cross line. One of my best friends in the whole wide world. Founder two. Oh, I'm like. <laughs> what doTERRA does and I want my husband to see it and be a part of it I want him here with me just like all of these people's husbands are here with them I want that too and that's my why there we go. Oh. There we go, <laughs> right there what's your name Sherry Sherry Johnson. Sherry Johnson we're gonna know her name right here Sherry Johnson right All right, Brittany, Sherry, Sherry's on your seventh level, right? See? Uh, fifth. Fifth, fifth, fifth level. What does it mean to you, as a U.S. founder 2.0, to watch Sherry shine this way? Well, to, to be here and not only just see Sherry, but all of these, all of these guys right here. Right? It makes you a very proud doTERRA mama. Absolutely. <laughs> and, yes. and I think the biggest thing, like Sherry mentioned, time freedom is huge for us. But to see our team achieve time freedom. So they're spending time doing what's most important to them with their family, volunteer work. It's incredible. Absolutely. Um, love it. So I'm going to hang here for just a few more minutes because I see my friend Jeanette. So she came to a retreat I was at, and she set a big goal, and that was to become a founder. So I want you to share, as we talk about Silver Club, how important is it that you seize the moment and take advantage of this, of this time? It is super important because it's a foundation to catapult your business, to ignite a fire you probably, as a builder, never knew you had. It's those programs, those leadership programs like Silver Club, that actually get you where you want to go. It's that you know vehicle that's going to get you there. And these programs, you guys are for a real treat. If it's your first Silver Club, if it's your second or third, it's an awesome program. Yes, I agree. Okay, I want to hear from somebody who's been scared to step out, to reach out to people, to create connections. Right, you want to, but you've been scared. And how did you break through? How did you break through? Okay, she's like, okay, okay, I will. <laughs> I'm not sure I have broken through yet, but I'm here to force it, to make it happen. I know I need this, like I need oxygen. Start and keep showing up. Put things on my calendar. They say you've got to stand up. All right, they got to see you. There we go. That's the first step, right? We're, we're breaking through fear right here. Um, just do the things. That's why I'm here. You know, um, get the classes booked. Reach out to people. Reach out to my customers who I've abandoned. Let them know I'm here and I'm ready to serve them and truly care about them. And then just take this all in and share it, not just keep it for myself. Input number five, I squirrel it all away, but it doesn't do any good to hide my light. No, it doesn't, doesn't serve the world at all. The world needs your light. Yes. All our lights. Oh yes. Everyone here is a lighthouse, right? A lighthouse. So you've seen the experiment when we turn on phones, right? How many of you are committed to becoming a lighthouse? If you are, I want you to take your phone and I want you to turn them on and I want to bring the house lights down and I want you to take a look to see what happens in a dark world when we choose when we choose to turn on our light. Can I see this? Do you see this? I hope you can see what I can see. Because this room just lit up. This is what the world needs. It's for you to get out and you shine your light.
light so extraordinarily bright that the world cannot ignore you. And you will find people who are like you, who might be standing in the dark, hey Bonnie, who might be standing in the dark, feeling lost and alone and invisible, but as you shine your light on them, their little flicker will start to come on. And it'll get brighter and brighter and brighter as we show them that they matter in this world, that they have a voice. What's gonna happen through Silver Club is you're gonna find your voice. As you set out right now, you've got your own goals and reasons why you're doing this. As you go out and you connect with people, you spend time with them, meeting me, valley to valley. You get to know them and who they are. You see them change before your very eyes. There's something that's going to change inside of you that will be completely unexpected. Your light will shine brighter and brighter and brighter. And your confidence will become greater and greater and greater. And your purpose will evolve and expand. And you'll start to get to know the person that you were created to be. And it's transformative. If there is anything that I taught you yesterday with my announcement, is that your title doesn't define you. None of us need a title to create the value that we have in this world. No one else's opinion of us matters. It's you, it's your creator. It's all that matters. When you stand bold and courageous in this world and knowing who you are and who you serve, that is when you become truly unstoppable. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, as we talk about, as we talk about Silver Club, and think about what you're going to do. Now, we have a little bit of a process. I'm going to come back up here so you can see me. Thank you for allowing me that. I love to be with you. It's my favorite. So, you think about how we're going to turn these lights on for other people. What do we have to do first? We have to be the example, right? We have to show them how it's done. That's why you chose in. That's why you're here. So as we start to climb that mountain, how awesome is it, as you heard from Kara, as you heard from Marie Kim, who have gone before you, was that inspirational? Did that get you excited? Yes? So, Kara and I were backstage talking about how many times she's, she's done this, and how many times she's done it wrong because she tried to go alone. She thought, okay, I can just put this burden on my back, and I can lift it, and I can carry it, and I can, I can, I can, I can do this by myself. What she created wasn't lasting. She wasn't changing people. She wasn't empowering people. She wasn't putting them in the driver's seat. And she changed that and she brought them along with her and gave them responsibilities and showed them what was in it for them and helped them cast a vision for what their life could be. So we heard Sherry. You know what I heard when Sherry sh shared with me why that was important, why she wanted to have retreats in her home with her husband there with her? in her own home, that her voice has taken flight. Our children are watching us. We, um, we slept at the breakouts last night. And we went to a little place called the Listening Room. Had some staff with me that were a little tired and just needed a little recharge. And the Listening Room is a place here in Nashville where writers come to play their songs. We had no idea what we were getting into. It was amazing. Um, these are writers that have written songs for George Trade and Tim McGraw and, and Martina McBride, some of the, the, the big famous ones. It was just a really intimate, intimate experience to see them just pour out their passion and the reasons um, that they write these songs. As we got in the car and came back here to the resort last night, 
uh, I was FaceTiming with my 17-year-old daughter. As we were FaceTiming, we were passing the phone around to everybody in the car because my family's part of my doTERRA family. And I love to bring my family into my world. And that was actually one of the mistakes that I made when we first started doTERRA, is that I was so focused on, on building this dream that I forgot to tell my family why I was doing it and why that was important to me. They weren't coming along the journey with me. They just saw mom was working her guts out day in and day out. And they became a little bit resentful, to be honest with you, because they didn't understand my purpose. They didn't know my heart. And so when I recognized this, it was a few years in, I made this mistake for a while. When I recognized this mistake a few years in was when I brought my family in and I brought them on a compact sourcing trip with me and got to really expose them to why I do what I do. And I've been bringing my children to different events where they get to interact with wellness advocates and service projects and different things. And it's been so transformative for my family to see. It's like, okay. Mom, you go. I know why you do this, and I want you to go. So as we're on the phone with my, with my daughter, um, one of the spouses of an employee that was in the car with me said she'd had a conversation with my daughter. This daughter's very accomplished. She's, she's going to do some great things in this world. And she asked her a question. She said, so, Ashlyn, what do you want to do when you grow up? And her response back was, I don't know what that looks like for me yet. I want to do it my own way, but I want to be just like my mom. Your children are watching you. They have a front row seat to watching you step in to building your dream. So as I heard from Sherry, she wants her family to be proud of her. Because what that means is that she's showing them they can do anything they set their mind to. And that's what you're going to do through Silver Club, is you sit with people in their living rooms, even if that's virtual, however it is that you're connecting with them. You get a front row seat. You get to help them unlock their potential, to rise up to become something more. And there's nothing more extraordinary that you can do in this world. So as we lift them up, we get to go before them. What you have to decide as you're on this journey, like, I just want hours with you. I don't have enough time with you. Like, oh, my time's up. I want more time. What you have to decide is why is this important? Right? You have a three-month run, and you're going to make the most of it. You have all of the home office team pouring into you. You've got your mentors, your upline support pouring into you. You've got everyone in this room here as a collaborative support. And I love the culture that exists here in doTERRA. We are a family. This is what sets us apart from everyone else. It's you. It's what lives in your heart. And you have to decide what is most important. Why am I doing this? What do I want to see at the end of the row? How am I going to get there? Are you doing things every day to move you closer to that? And are you doing it with integrity? Are you doing it with purpose? And are you going to look back in this moment and be proud of the decisions that you made? of the lives that you changed and the person that you become in the process. I love that doTERRA gives you the vehicle to go as high as you choose to go. There is no one that will dictate when you get a promotion, how much you can be paid, or how big you can show up in this world. Only you get to choose that. You get to choose. And I hope today that you set that intention. That you know what that next mountain is that you want to climb. Because I have gone through my different moments, right? You've watched my journey in doTERRA, haven't you? Right? You've watched that transformation. I'm still transforming. 
And it's awesome, and I love it. A couple of months ago, I thought things had to look a certain way. And just like Karen, her first time through Silver Club and Diamond Club, like, okay, I'm gonna put this backpack on. Corey retired, it's like, okay, I'll put his backpack on too, it's okay. I'll carry it, I'll do it. What I realized is I lost my joy because I was so busy in meetings and approvals and, and having to respond to all of the messages that were coming in from every different angle. And I had no time to do the things that brought me such great fulfillment and purpose. And I realized it could look different. You get to design your business. You get to design your life. So today is the day that you are reclaiming your life and you are designing your business the way you see fit. And you're gonna bring the people in that you want with you. If you've abandoned your team for a moment, sometimes we need to take a big dose of humility and we get to go back to them to say, I am sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. But guess what? I'm here now. Will you forgive me? Let's do this together. I can tell you there is power in apologies. There is power in forgiveness, but there's also extreme power in you claiming what lives inside of you and living a vision that is so big and so grand because it gives everyone around you permission to follow and to rise up right along with you. I'm so excited for you. I am so excited for what lies ahead of you. Now, we have nearly 2,000 Silver Club participants, the largest group of silver, club, silver Clubbers ever in history in North America, right here in this room. selling company in the world. I know without a doubt, we will become a $10 billion enterprise and we do that not because of a number. I could care less about the number. I care about the impact. I care about the lives, the lives empowered, the dreams realized. Yes. That's what it's all about. And you can feel this movement. And I know, even for me, I needed to let go. I'm a little bit of a control freak, right? And I was, I was probably holding too tightly to the baby. And I had to let go so that things can open up so I can step into my greatest strengths. And I'm so excited to connect more with you because that's where I find my joy. You are my happy place. So I hope you don't get tired of me because you're going to see more of me. energy here in Nashville. Do you feel it? Yes. It's like it's gurgling up, it's gurgling up. We went through this growth, right? And then we had a little bit of a leadership gap. And we had to feel that. And that's what's been happening as we had our founder 2.0. Now as we're having Silver Club and as we move up towards Diamond Club, we're feeling that leadership gap. So by the time we hit September for Diamond Club, we have some amazing announcements as I teased you with yesterday. Like you just wait, we got big things in the works. So come September, what happens? What happens in September? We have two Invention. huge things. Invention. <laughs> we have Diamond Club and we have Convention. And they're coming together at the same time. Can you feel this? Can you feel it? We have momentum that's going to hit in 2024 at the size that the U.S. is today. Yeah. It's going to be massive. The world will know our name, right? We're going to change lives in beautiful, beautiful ways. So how many of you are committing right now as you start your journey in Silver Club to qualify, to keep moving, and to be ready to do Diamond Club in September? Woo! 